You are near the Russian SAG conducting exercise Ocean Vulture. Your mission is to determine Russian formations and tactics. This intelligence is critical to preparing our tactics against an expected Russian attack in the near future. By tracking the Akula, you have enabled the Office of Naval Intelligence to refine estimates of the exercise okay. group location. You have been vectored to a good position ahead of the group and along their track. Unfortunately, the Akula disguised the track to the exercise area so that early intelligence was not adequate to allow steering a satellite over the group. Yeah, position. disguised the track to the ground. As a result, the Office of Naval Intelligence is unable to provide estimates of the formation positions. You will have to use your own sensors to find a way through the escorts. Be careful to avoid submarine escorts. Proceed to take station on the Kara within visual range and monitor the usage of radar and active sonar sensors. Russian submarines have been increasingly aggressive and you must anticipate being attacked if submarines are encountered. Mm -mm. The rules of engagement have been modified, so you are authorized to conduct a preemptive attack and sink Russian submarines. Holy shit. However, do not attack surface ships, or vital intelligence collection opportunities will be lost. Well, hello everyone, FPS Chazla here, and this mission is about to get real, real thick real quick, man, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, if you saw the briefing, we're doing intel on a Russian exercise. And upon completion of that intel gathering, we are weapons free to engage rep uh, enemy Russian submarines. So holy crap, shooting has begun. Not just yet, the first shots of the war have not been fired, but they will be fired within a few minutes time here. Uh, maybe more within a few hours time, we'll see. Bring in the toad a little bit. Get with that for now. Um, what do we got? What are you? Euler. No, not like the German mathematician. He was German, right? Euler. I am very sorry if he is not German and you know what nationality he is. Or I, or if I've insulted your heritage, so apologies. Uh, yeah, so we have no idea where this uh, formation is right now. Wow. What am I picking up on the toe that's so strong, but it's not strong enough to be picked up on the spherical? Fishing boat. Uh-oh. Oh, SpaghettiOs. Yeah, it's probably a sub. No, that sounds pretty civilian, but we'll go ahead and mark it up. Tracker sign. Tracker sign. But not a si not a hint of it on the frickin' uh, whatchamacallit there, doohickey. Exit area. Let me see what the official mission status is here. Monitor surface group, exit the exercise area. So we're not, we don't technically have to engage Russian subs, but the, as the briefing said, if we don't engage them now, they'll just be around later. So wow. We're gonna start firing some weapons for once, finally. <laughs> Moving out of a cold war into a hot war here. Um, I'm not expecting a layer, it's pretty shallow here, yeah. Alright, shall we get topside? Not topside, but let's get to the periscope depth. Zero, seven, see if zero, we can't make any visual contact seven, with someone here. We are just looking at the uh, broadband here, I got two contacts. And that one's the real one because we're getting wide aperture array ranging on it. And this guy, yeah, just slightly beyond... Um... These lines are 10 nautical miles long, and the WAA said he was around 13,000. Oh, no, so he should be intersecting before that point. That's only uh, six and a half, close to seven nautical miles. Yeah, so right around there is what we're looking at for him. But I'm not really going to bother doing too much with him because he's just an oiler. This is our... It sounds like a fishing boat, though. It is way too noisy and clunky sounding to be a Russian nuclear... Modern nuclear submarine there. Oh, the water's like, that's like the bluest I've ever seen it. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Alright, so not sure where anyone's, oh yeah, we're getting pinged. I keep forgetting, I, I really hate, it's really annoying how there isn't a, uh auto crew for the active here. So this is where the surface ships are, they're off in that direction, so we need to head that way. And I guess we might as well get close to the bottom as possible to try and, uh, I have a new Mask our signal here. Zero, seven, uh, well, fishing one, boat. It could be a real ship or something. 
I have a new contact. Yeah, Barrett. we're coming up here to see if we have any visual contact on these mofos. Wow, lots of surfer ships. Oh yeah, we got like, um, whatever you call it. But thankfully we don't have a time limit to get into the area. Good lord. Five active sets. No pretty long intervals here. Pretty long intervals. There's another one. Mark. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me. I f you'd feel like they would, they would say, like, what sensor the active is from based on the frequency data or whatever. I'm sure, like, one active pinger is used on multiple kinds of ships, but you could at least possibly narrow it down to a few different types of classes or something. But who knows? Uh, an auto crew for this would be so nice. Take that for such granted in dangerous waters. <laughs> All right, well, we're at periscope depth. I'm exposing myself. Raise. Raise, raise. Take a quick stock of the situation very quickly, and I'm just going to probably dive down and head that way. Uh, let's look. Oh, I see some stuff. Yeah, what do we got? Yeah, it's an oiler, all right, or a cargo ship, whatever it is. Oh, they're just on the horizon. Uh, you know, a little 16 times zoom wouldn't hurt to figure out what the hell all that stuff is. There's another one right there. Right there. Motor scope. ESM, cargo ship, fishing boat. Okay, so there is a fishing boat. And, uh, are the military craft silent now? Looks like they are silent for now. Hoping to get some orders from comms to Blant on when this is going down, but it doesn't look like I'm getting anything from them. Just getting fishing boat and cargo ship stuff. Your may all appear to be going very slowly, quietly, so that I may not get a read on their position. So I don't have any of them on sonar. Well, I haven't checked the narrow band. Let's go to 270 feet. Make my depth two seven zero. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna move in closer on them. They all appear to be about. Oh, I don't know. Pretty far off. I'd say at least 10 nautical miles for all of them. Oh, that was a very faint ping I just heard there. Alright, so yeah. That's the extent of it on there. Got some very good acuity going on. So we're on the toad. Let's see what else we got over in this direction. Cargo ship. I mean, if they're, if they're sitting around for an exercise, they're all going to be stopped. They're not going to be doing anything. So let us, let me adjust the prototype. So no sign of any Ruski submarines. Let's go deep. Bring her deep. 700 feet, 800 feet. 800 feet's fine. It's only getting deeper as we go east here, so that's good. Uh, once we get down to like maybe 200 feet, I'll probably just up to two thirds here. And we will try to move closer into position. Let me try and do a thorough sweep. I haven't ordered a course change yet, have I? No. Thorough sweep of the sonar on the narrow band here, see if I can't see anything. No, it looks pretty empty. The good thing about the toad reflection is mean, it means you only have to really like search half the <laughs> half the degrees to see something, but it doesn't hurt to just go over it more than once. So yeah, we got those guys. For whatever reason, they're in the middle of the the freaking operation here. I guess the Ruskies don't care. Um. Do I want to head straight in, or maybe like oblique? Now, this is my like estimate for range of where these ships might possibly be. It's obviously going to be more of like a circle kind of formation, potentially. But uh, don't know if I'm going to head in straight for them or head off to the side. <coughs> I might head off to like the side here, so I can still kind of like have some toad facing towards them, and then maybe cut back in here, because I don't have any kind of a I just have to get within the Kata or the Kashin within 6,000 yards of either to get the approach or whatever, the monitoring, take station. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, let's make a course change for this way. I'll head two thirds. You know, if there are other subs around here and there isn't really a time limit, I'm going to play it safe. Going to play it safe here. We don't have any kind of time limit about this. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe there's any kind of time limit here. So if we throw in some waypoints here, 
Probably something like this, that, bada bing, bada boom. Two hours and 47 minutes. Very well. An hour takes, what, a little less than four minutes, so. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hour takes about four minutes at 16 times speed. So if you if you just 16 times it the whole time, we'd get there in like 12 minutes. <laughs> Still a pretty long time. Oh, we are coming in hot. Getting close to the bottom. We have to reel in a little bit more here. Oh no 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 no! no. There you go. That's good. Stream the starboard tow array. Helm I. Oh, what was that? See that right there? That was something that just showed up here. Come back this way. To course zero one four. Helm I. I need to see what that was. That thing just like popped up there. It's potentially something of interest. There it is. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Barry. What have zero. we here? Seven, designated Sierra, nine. Not seeing anything on the narrow band. I'm on the toad. Oh, I got some... Was that the fishing boat fading off? Sierra three. Where's the fishing boat? Oh no, it's just coming into view. I never had the fishing boat on view here. Not letting me give me a track or two, that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so, this guy is actually directly on the same line of bearing that I'm trying to go right now. <laughs> uh, potential sub. Uh, and, and judging by this, it's either heading right towards me or right away from me, because it's not really changing aspect. Can I get narrow band on anything here? Because I'm not seeing anything on the narrow band. Let me get it down to where the toad works best. Is that something right there? Dude, that's weird. I can't see anything on that. Here, uh, get back up to here. Hull. As far as that cargo ship is close, well, they're loud as hell. Are you really that surprised? Um, no, it's just the fishing boat and what you have it there going on. Right, here, let me zoom in and see if there's multiple signals there 500 nope that's that's just two signals there. there's nothing else hiding underneath of that oh but someone is right up here I did not take a look at that I don't think I went that far up with the uh, okay so it looks like we're probably getting closer to him then I did not take a look in that direction on the periscope. So maybe I'll cut it back this way and head down that way. But yeah, I just haven't I haven't marked any of that stuff in a while, so that's why it's all like down there or whatever. Did I get like visual no those are EO zero marks. Okay, I'm gonna drop those then because that's just clutter. EO one, EO two. Drop. Drop. No, 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 drop. What did I just drop? Ugh, one of the active things. God, why do you keep changing, man? I'm trying to select a certain track, and you keep changing it to another track. Thank you. All right, that's not a big deal. I know where these guys are at. But yeah, this guy's suspect. Why am I seeing him on the... Oh. It's probably a biologic, then. If I'm seeing him on the broadband, but not the narrow band, because biologics don't make... <laughs> that's just not how living things work. They don't make constant frequencies as they move along. They're not machines. So that's probably a biologic. It's just a guess. Classify. Uh, is biologic in here? Yes, it is. Confidence medium. <laughs> it's a threat. The Ruskies have evil squids, a la Red Alert, too. Um, let's... If the, on the off chance that it's not a biologic, I don't want to head directly toward it. What bearing can I get to and still have some, like, acuity on the toad here? What is my course? 1-4. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 347. So yeah, plus or minus 30. So this 
biologic is on uh, 59. So let's go to course 25. And then we should be able to like just keep him Come just right, outside of our zero, baffles two, five, and line. still head somewhat close to the fleet, I guess, or something like that. Because I want to make sure those guys are like facing a good chunk of the toad here. I don't want them to be completely blind to the toad. But I'm probably not even going to be able to pick them up on the toad since they're like, uh, it looks like they're just like sitting there or moving very slowly. But yeah, that biologic is moving ever so slightly. Spherical. Eh, it's just the two same douchebags. Fishing boat starting and stopping in the cargo ship. Yeah, if you see stuff like that on the sonar, that usually indicates a civilian. Like a fishing boat, they're usually starting and stopping or something. Okay, now I just lost them behind the signal of those two dudes. So that's great. That's lovely. Wunderbar. Yeah, they're all in like, the same location there. Uh, um, still can't see a potential biologic here. It's still there, though. Oh, it's not really changing bearing that much. It's probably pretty distant. Oh, what is that? Who? Oh, hello. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing zero seven eight. Designated Hey, that's like on the same bearing as that. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's something. Kashin. Looks like a potential Kashin. Very cool. Alright, so we're picking someone up. That's nice. Um, it was he on a berry? Yeah. Well, it's, it seems to be. Yeah, we're getting closer to him. Well, what, what, what if. Uh, so if he really wasn't moving, then he should be moving off to this way, to the. that way. But he's not. Oh, we got some WAA on him. 5,000 yards. Really? Really? 5,000 yards. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm closer to it now than I was before. I didn't think it was that close. 5,000 yards. I didn't think I was within 10,000 yards there or whatever. All right, let's uh let's get to periscope depth then real quickly here. Go to periscope depth. depth. Zero, seven, zero feet. And let's take bye a bye. peek. But yeah, I think this is a biologic over here. <laughs> you have labored to produce a biologic. A what? <laughs> a whale, Beaumont. A whale. A marine animal that knows a hell of a lot more about sonar than you. All right, let's just time lapse up there. Um, let's mark some pings. At four times speed. Mark some more pings, get some updated LOBs. Oh whoa, hello. Con sonar. I have a new yeah, there's that one I missed Barry. from before or the Zero. one I dropped from Six. before. Right, I wanna make sure I pick up a second of these two ones that I didn't get him last time. Isn't a bracket speed up Oh no 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 ho ho hey ho ha stop 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 stop. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I was looking for the uh the hotkey for time lapse and slow down. Um, okay, they appear to be moving north with me here. They all appear to be moving north here. Probably at the same speed I'm going. Or something. Uh, 078, this is their Kerch friend, I believe, here. No, 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 no. Oh, plankton on the surface. <laughs> no, this guy, yeah, he's getting close. Moving almost parallel with us here. Or getting closer to us, coming towards us, potentially. <clears throat> yeah, we're coming shallow. It's a little bit of a labored effort here from such a deep depth. Takes a while. He's coming in really hot. He's getting close. Got him on the spherical. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing zero. What was that? Seven, five. Designated Sierra. One. One. So it looks like Sierra 10 and Sierra 11 are him. Sierra 10 and C... Oh, stop it. I don't know why it does that, man. Sierra 11. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, please. Please stop, thank you. Uh, okay, well, I can get TPK data on him. So, what are you doing? Oh, Master 1 now. Yes, yes. Uh, TPK is going to be about 8 
for all these Russian surface ships. 12 knots, you don't say. Yeah, don't say. What was your range? Uh, around 7,000. So right about here. So, yeah, something like that. Either this, <laughs> this, or that. Kind of hard to tell. But yeah, something like about this here. According to the toad. The toad is turning, though, so we're going to get some funky data from that. Um, no, it doesn't really model the funky data from the toad turning in here, so that's good. So those, the true data stays pretty good, because on dangerous waters, if you're doing this turn... I'm sure some of you know that this would like still kink out even though that was the true data. So it looks like we got ourselves something. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Thank you, detective, for that lovely piece of information. Something else showing up. Turn course. more north. Come left to course zero, zero, one. Something Come else on. is showing up there. Could be a fishing boat coming back into view, Gold not sure. Complete. Hey. Continue with your mission. <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't even have this crap up, but whatever. Alright, so now we can go sub hunting, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna take a look at this guy. So, yeah, there's the Kashin. I got pretty close to him. I've been realizing it here. Where is it? There it is. Oh god. Is it turning towards me or turning away? I, it looks like it's turning away. I'm not too terribly sure. Not too terribly sure. Well, now we lost all fidelity because we raised the scope uh, lower. Let's see if ComSubline has anything to say real quick. Need to end this video. I'm sure you guys don't care, but I like to keep consistency. Let's raise the ESM, see if they're transmitting anything. Hurry up. Hurry up. Receive. Are we getting traffic? You you're like sitting on receive there for a little bit. Whoa, holy shit. Yeah, okay. Um, it said receive, but we didn't get any traffic. Alright. Alrighty. Down we go, down we go. Uh, I think that's the fishing boat. Or something. Yeah, something like that. Here we go. That's the fishing boat. So yeah, I guess we might try and transit towards the exit area. The subs might be on the other side of this formation here. Who knows? Why is that all the way there? Who knows? I don't know. Whatever. All right, yeah, we're, we're getting down, getting away from periscope depth. That right there. Potentially something of interest, that little faint one right there, but who knows? All right, yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and... uh. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Have a good weekend. See ya.